Hiya, it's Mike here. Um, I just wanted to explain what I was doing with my channel, really. Uh, it's just for my reference, really. Uh, and what that channel is, or this channel is, changes from time to time. Uh, I haven't done much with it in like four years, mainly because, got some sweets, mainly because it's been a turbulent four years. Um, my family, and by my family, I mean myself, my partner, and our kids. I uh, moved to right up to northern Scotland from kind of the northwest, and then um, <clears throat> we've had a, a lot of moves, a lot of changes in our expectations of the lifestyle we were after. Um, we kind of moved during COVID time, to, to, well, I guess after the first big COVID hit. Um, and we moved to a small island uh, where we lived for a few years. Um, during that time, I worked there. Um, I stopped being a teacher, which was what I was doing down south, and um, working in video games occasionally as well. I stopped doing that. I worked in the kitchen in a much more utilitarian, yeah, utilitarian, that's the word, kind of lifestyle. Um, a place that needed people to, you know, do manual labour jobs. Um, so I did that. While I was doing that, it freed up my brain to think. And it occurred to me <coughs> that I wrote like an album back in 2008. I recorded it. It's called The Haunted Bedroom. It's on pretty much, I think it's on all like the, um, you know, all, all the platforms. Um, a company approached me and asked me if I wanted it on there. I said, yeah, no one's ever listened to it, but it's there. Um, I don't really care if people listen to it. I just like writing the songs. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, I did that and finished it in like 2008 and it occurred to me that since then I'd written loads and loads of songs, kind of half finished songs um, that had their messages kind of finished and I knew what they were going to be about and how I wanted to approach the subjects and things like that. And some of them even had like clever little ideas um, like returning to themes and stuff like that um, and nice little alliterations and a few clever little lyrics. Uh, and I thought while I'm doing this utilitarian job I'll um, see if I can put some of my brain energy into finishing those songs. Um, and most of them were kind of finished, but it it looked like I had about 50, maybe more um, songs. It was more. Um, but I had about 50 that I was ready to record. And I kind of whittled it down to three albums by date, because I thought if I capture the era that I wrote these songs, it might be like a theme or something, you know? And anyway, as it happened, there was. So I came up with these three album ideas. Kind of concept albums, I suppose. But not really, they're just me and what I was talking about at the time. And it was like four year windows where these songs were written. Um, the first one, it's called Hindsight. And it's about <coughs> the years before 2008. So it was written between 2008, 2012. But it was um, all about, let's say the time between 2004, 2006 maybe, uh, when I was kind of putting together the haunted bedroom, um, <clears throat> which I finished in 2008 anyway. You don't need to know this. But basically what I've got is these four year windows of songs, three of them. Um, the second one's kind of more geared toward me family, I guess, because we were having kids. And the third one is um, kind of geared toward leaving England because that's what we were thinking of for about five years. Um, so, um, yeah, the first one's Hindsight. The second one I called um, Instant Whim because uh, my son um, was a very kind, he still is, um, bouncing from one thing to another and, uh, on a whim, you know. And uh, he was a bit of a win to me as well. Uh, An Instant Whim just kind of sprung to mind. I think I was listening to a lot of John Lennon at the time and he had like double fantasy and weird names like that for his albums. And Instant Whim just kind of... <laughs> I don't know, some things up for me. And the third one, which you won't hear anything on for a while, or maybe you will, but the third one was called, uh, it was about leaving England. And I always wanted to do this uh, while I was going through that mindset. Um, I called it What Remains To Be Done. Um, and that's a bit more introspective and a bit more folky. Um, I think because we were thinking about going toward a kind of a, a place that was kind of embroiled in folk. Anyway, um, so there's these three albums that have 
pretty much written. But what I did while I was working in this labour job is I get up early in the morning, I get my phone out, the phone that I'm recording on now, actually it was the old one, so it's that one over there. Um, it's over there for a reason. <laughs> I'm trying to get all the dates off it. And I just write lyrics and improve the lyrics. I write the whole album down. And then um, if there was a new bit, like a bridge that needed to be kind of remembered and I wasn't going to remember it because, you know, some bits you do and some bits you don't. Um, and I knew I wasn't going to remember it, but it was good. I'd do a little voice note and record it. Problem there is that phone's very particular and you can't send it to another phone and have it all come back intact. So I've had to try and get this thing working. I just have um, this week. And it's been sitting there charging for a day or so, but it's working. So I'm going to pull all the ideas off. I'm basically going to play them to myself, grab a guitar. Um, and the one that you saw me do that song Pills on was a, um, is my new Gibson Les Paul. I say new, I got it in about 21 <laughs> when we moved to Scotland. Uh, Jill got me my partner for uh, a gift because uh, we hadn't bought each other in for years. Uh, for presents and that, so she got me a Gibson Les Paul. I'm going to use it, obviously, because it's brilliant. Um, so, um, yeah, there's, at the time of recording this, there's one song up, um, and you'll see it's like, a, if you're following me, which you're not, <laughs> well, you might do at some point, um, there's a playlist called uh, Hindsight, and track one is Pills. Uh, it's a bit of a rock track. It's a bit cheesy. I didn't ever like the chorus tune, but do you know what? Sometimes I've recorded an idea for a song, not really liked bits of it, and then when I've recorded it and listened back, it's better than I thought it was. So I always give me songs the benefit of the doubt, you know? Um, but I've had a bit of time to kind of brew on the lyrics. And they were cheesy and simple at first, but actually, I think they're quite good now. Um, and I think just the way I write generally these days is, um, I don't know about anyone else watching this, the cool if, uh, if you write, if you could talk to me about it, because I love hearing about stuff like this. But um, I guess I've gone a bit Manic Street Preachers. It's not really about rhyming. It's about getting pertinent syllables in place. So you get your message written and then you go, right, how do I just, I need to just rearrange some of these words so that the syllables hit in interesting ways. And occasionally they rhyme, and that's cool. Um, but I enjoy that more. So I'm going to probably do more of that. But um, I'll say that there's about 33 songs coming um, they're all written they're all kind of rough I just need to remind myself of what some of the bridges sound like and so I'm going to take them one at a time I'm going to try and do one each day but it probably won't happen that way because you know life I work at home and this is my home office um, and um, I'm back in video games now uh, which is fun <coughs> I love it um, but actually, I said really miss the songs and it's just, when I found the old phone, I thought, actually, I'm going to try and get this working. Uh, I've kind of got the bug a little bit. So I'm hoping this takes, and I'll spend a few weeks, maybe a couple of months doing this. Um, what I'm hoping to have at the end of this little period of recording is, um, as I say, about 30, 33, 35, something like that, songs that are listed for these albums. And it's just so I can remember them. It's not really for anyone else. So if you're watching this, bro, thanks very much. But it's not really for you, it's for me. So I don't forget um, the melodies and some of the bits that I wanted to remember. Because uh, in that phone kind of dying, I'm pointing to this one here. This phone kind of dying. Um, yeah, it it took the song with, them, with it. And I thought that was the end of them, but it's not. So I'm chuffed. And while it's just about alive, I'm going to try and get everything off it. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks, just so you know. Um, Right, uh, I'll crack on, eh? <laughs>